Hi everyone, Banshee here from Banshee Glass, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate, give or take with a very small margin of error, how much electricity your kiln costs to run. You might not know exactly how much it costs to run your kiln, so let me show you how to get a very, very close estimate on your electric cost for your kiln. So let's get to it. First thing we got to do, go over to the kiln. All right, here we are at the kiln. I have a Paragon F-style kiln. It is a front-loading kiln. I'm going to come down here to the Orton Sentry controller. Now, I just ran a schedule. It ended last night. And here, it will flash three things. It will say complete, a number, and then the temperature. So what number I need off of this is I need that number. That 6.45 that means I ran six hours and 45 minutes so that gives me the full run time of the kiln however that is the I do have to explain that is not the um, that is not the active time that the kiln is running for uh, when you run your kiln uh, your your uh, activity light will click on and off and you'll hear the kiln <coughs> click on and off back and forth um, Basically, with um, lamp working kilns, uh, ceramic kilns, all the same pretty much, um, you have to calculate uh, 40 to 60 percent active runtime because your kiln elements are not going to be running continuously. Otherwise, the temperature would just ramp up and up and up and up and up. When you have your kiln hold at a certain temperature, it's going to click on and off, on and off, on and off. So when I said initially within a, uh, within a small margin, uh, you'll be able to uh, figure that out. We're going to estimate that our kiln, uh, the kiln's duty cycle, a duty cycle means how much actual time it's, uh, the elements are active and firing at uh, 40 to 60%. Um, but for ease of mathematics here, we're just gonna go with 50%. Uh, so now at this point, we got to go over to the internet uh, for the rest of this. Alrighty, now here we are at the internet. <laughs> uh, this is a website, rapidtables.com. They have many calculators that help you uh, very easily calculate a whole myriad of different things. Here I am at electrical calculators with the electricity bill calculator. So I do live in the United States. Um, I don't need to select a typical appliance. This is if you don't know what the appliance is. It gives you a general idea. But I do know that that kiln that I have uses 4,800 watts of electricity. Now, earlier I showed 6 hours and 45 minutes. However, I'm calculating the duty cycle, which would be, um, let's see, that would be roughly um, 3 hours... Uh, three hours and uh, about 15 minutes, so we'll go three and a quarter hours. My uh, electric usage, which you will find on your power bill, uh, my personal one, is nine, se or, yeah, nine cents per kilowatt hour. So that lets me know that for that cycle, it costs one dollar and forty cents per cycle. Now, if I run that same cycle every single day, that is going to add up to $42 a month or the electricity cost of $512 per year. Now, one thing I do want to note here is I do have another kiln that I run on a pretty regular basis as well. It is a chili pepper kiln. It runs for about the same amount of time. However, that is a 980 watt kiln. It's a small kiln. And if I run that kiln for the exact same amount of time, that electricity cost comes down to, look at that, 28 cents a day, $8.70 a month, or the electricity cost of $100 a year, give or take. So that's how to get a general idea of how much it costs to run your kiln so that now you can factor this in with the cost of producing your product and you can make sure that really you're not screwing yourself over. All right, uh, have a good day everyone.